Hello there! Today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial that I've been using a lot lately for my makeup, especially since it's summer and it's hot where I am, so I don't want to wear a lot of makeup that makes me feel like really gross on my face. So this is just a really pretty looking um, light makeup tutorial and I really hope you guys enjoyed and enough with the chit chat, let's just get onto it, right? First, first things, things first, first, I'm gonna flip back my hair and put it behind my ears using this handy dandy headband because I don't want makeup in my hair because that's nasty. Oh, and if you have watched my daily skincare routine, which if you haven't, go watch it because me, right? Anyways, you would know that every day I moisturize my face with this Olay SPF moisturizer. Even if that's not part of your daily routine, I would still recommend um, starting off with a fresh face because it's summertime, you want to be nice to your skin. And also, I would recommend using a moisturizer with SPF because you're probably going to be out in the sun a lot. Or if you're just staying inside and watching Netflix, taking selfies, it's okay. This is what's already on my face, so just putting that out there. Now, getting on to the makeup. So what I'm going to be using on my face today, I'm not going to use a foundation because that's gross. Um, I want something a little lighter. I want to use a BB cream. These are really cool because they're more like moisturizers, um, but they have that little tint to it um, to really even out your skin tone. So they pretty much work the same as a foundation, but they just feel a little bit lighter on your skin, which is nice for the summertime when you're sweating and it's all gross. Anyways, I'm just gonna kind of squeeze like a little bit of this onto my hand. The thing about this is because it is a moisturizer, it sinks into your skin fairly quickly. So whatever technique you want to use to make it go faster, sometimes I'll use a kabuki with this, but right now I just really like using my hands because I feel like it blends better. Um, but really just try to work fast with this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like quickly just kind of dot this in like general areas of my face where I want the color to go. And then I'm just gonna start rubbing it in like I would a moisturizer. And I've also felt like I like using my fingers better than a kabuki just because my kabuki brush I kind of use for other things too and so I feel like my fingers are more sanitary also because I just feel like it blends better on the skin. Don't put too much whereas it feels cakey because that's really not the purpose of this um, kind of makeup. What I really love about this is it just works really well to even out your skin tone. Like, like look how look how well evened my skin is. Just, just, just take a moment. I just really like it. And also, it does, it looks natural and it feels natural. So I mean, win-win situation, right? Next up is the under eyes and concealing. What I'm gonna use is actually this 135 foundation from the Maybelline Fit Me. This isn't a concealer, it's just a regular foundation. And this is what I use for my normal makeup routine anyways. I will be honest, it doesn't work that well with my regular foundation, it just works okay. But with the BB cream, I find that using a foundation for your under eyes is actually, it shows up a lot better. And it looks like it does a better job because it is thicker than the BB cream. So what I'm gonna do is I go in with a blush brush. I know that's kind of weird, but I just really like the angle of the brush for my under eyes. And I'm just gonna go in and dab that all under my under eye area to kind of brighten it up and get rid of any dark circles so I don't look like Voldemort or whatever. Also, I kind of use this and I put this on the top of my eyelid just because like as you can see my eyelids are like fairly veiny. I don't know if it's showing up on the camera, but I'm literally like a snake at my eyes. So I kind of like to use this to even it out and also as like a primer a little bit um, just to prep them for eyeshadow. Generally using foundation as an under eye concealer is pretty good especially because I think we've all been there if we buy a foundation that's too light um, for our skin then you can actually put this to use um, by using it as a concealer so you don't have to throw it away and waste your money you can actually get the bang for your buck. Next with my flat powder brush I'm gonna be using powder. Who knew right? Uh, this is the Revlon Photo Ready Powder um, this is what I use in my daily makeup routine. So this tutorial is pretty um, pretty close to what I normally do, but it's just a lot less makeup and it feels like fresher and more natural on the skin. So I'm just going to take this and just kind of buff it all over my face. Sorry, that was like a moment of awkward silence. And I also, since I put foundation, on my eyes a little bit. I also kind of close my eyes and dab a little powder on there as well. 
Next I'm gonna bronze my face. So if you have been inside all summer watching Netflix and getting actually paler, that's okay because bronzer will be your best friend and make it look like you've actually gone outside. I'm just gonna use this with the Kabuki and I'm just going to... Oh, no, this is Sony Kashuk, BT Dubs. And I just kinda whirl it around in the powder. Get a pretty good amount. Usually I would use this little sculpting, to, sculpting tool and kinda sculpt out my cheekbones but since I want it to be a little more natural, I'm just gonna get right on to giving my face a nice tan glow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of pucker up where my cheekbones are. And I also kind of take this on its side, so it's at the right angle that I want it to be. It's really easy, a lot faster and more convenient than actually sculpting out your cheekbones. It's really fast, but it still gives you that nice, natural looking tan. Whoa, my. I'm gonna skip the blush for now and move on to the eyes just because I'm weird like that and that's what I like to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with a, oops, geez, you didn't hear that. I'm gonna use my Cynthia Rowley New York eyeshadow palette. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this really milky color. I'm gonna take that with my fingers. So I'm just gonna kinda put that all over my lid. And as you can tell, I'm not very like precise with this. I just kind of place it and then just blend it out. Make sure to really focus the color in the center of the lids and then sometimes I'll just kind of blend it out to both the sides. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm not going to use like any um, other colors on here except for this dark color. Um, this is from this Wear Infinite Studio Secrets. I don't even know how to pronounce that. And with this um, Naked 2 blending brush, this came with the Naked 2 palette, but of course you can use any blending brush you desire. I'm just going to take that color and I'm going to put it right on the outside corner. A little bit into the crease just for some little definition on the outside area. And it really looks super pretty and almost a little bit smoky, but it still looks really natural just because the color is very matte and it's just a very neutral brown. So that's what I really love about this eyeshadow look. What I do is I kind of like dab it on like the outer V and then I just kind of swipe and blend. So that's what the eyeshadow looks like for now. And we're going to be working a little more with this as we move on to eyeliner. I just sharpened that. Look how nice that is. So this is the CoverGirl Perfect Blend Pencil Crayon or eyeliner. Oh, they think they're so fancy. Pencil crayon. Okay, we all know it's eyeliner. I'm just gonna take this eyeliner and put this right in my upper waterline or tight lining, as most call it. Next, after the tight line, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start in the center of the eyelid and I'm just gonna do a really simple line. I wouldn't recommend using black for this eyeliner just because we want it to be more natural. When I'm doing this makeup look, I go thicker towards the outer part and I'm actually going to work with that into my eyeshadow look so what I do is I just kind of like it's very sloppy bear with me but it really works so I just kind of pull it back and I just kind of like smudge this into the crease a little bit and then I'm going to use this smudging tool and I'm just going to blend it out like I said this is a pretty like smoky look but I really like it for the summer because you look like you dressed up and you tried with your makeup but while still not feeling too cakey. I'm gonna go back and take my eyeshadow blending brush from Urban Decay and I'm just gonna blend it out. It's really easy to do too. You don't have to have a lot of like eyeliner skill to do this. You just basically like slap it on there, smudge it out and it looks pretty good. I'm kind of following the guideline of my crease a little bit. I kind of like bring this up to the crease and then I just kind of focus on mainly packing it in the outer V. And as you can see, like this is a really weird, messy shape I just made here. It doesn't matter. It can be really messy. Don't worry about it because you're going to blend it out anyways. So as long as it has like the general shape that you want and it's just right in the area that you want, I think. You should be okay. Of course this tutorial is very very customizable so I mean just put as much eyeliner as you want on there 
If you don't want it to be this dark, then put a little less um, or use a lighter eyeshadow than I use. Totally fine. Just do what you want with it, girl. I mean, it's your face, so you own it. Just, just do what you want, okay? Now, if you haven't already, it would probably be a good time to put on some chapstick and moisturize your lips. And ew, I already put chapstick on, so that felt a little gross right now. But. And also, I forgot to mention this, but usually when you blend out your eyeshadow, usually when you blend out your eyeliner, excuse me, um, a lot of the original line kind of gets taken away. So sometimes I just kind of go back and intensify what was there before. Moving on to mascara. Um, I'm just going to go through what I usually do in my normal routine, which is just to curl them and then put mascara on. I'm not using any specific mascara because I usually only have one mascara at a time. Um, right now, I use the Lash Out Butterfly. What I usually do when I curl my lashes is I'll usually just do three pumps on the lash and then I'll pull it out two times. And I know it sounds really weird, but it's just a technique that I found that works for me. Um, but when doing this tutorial, since I don't need my eyelashes to be that big, I just kind of do a little less and I'll just do like two squeezes and two pulls. And yeah, I sound crazy right now, but it works for me, so maybe it'll work for you. And then I'm just going in with my mascara, just what I usually do. I usually blink through this, try to get it on the base of my lashes first, and then I'll go back and bring it up all the way to the tips. If you do get these little mishaps all over my eyelid, like I do, don't worry, just use, I'm back, a Q-tip, um, because it's really easy to just get it off there and it won't like smudge the color and make everything messy. So there's that. Since I was really active in my eye area just recently, I'm just gonna go um, and kind of let that settle out before I move on to my eyeliner. I'm gonna move on to my eyebrows. I'm just gonna comb them out to the shape that I want. As you can tell right now, my eyebrows are just a little bit sparse. So I'm gonna fill them in with this Revlon Brow Fantasy, and this is in the shade Brunette. Um, and I'm just gonna use, this is, oh, just a little side note. This is really cool. I just had to talk about this. It has like this pencil portion and then it also has this gel portion, which is really cool if you're that kind of girl. I don't really like using gel, but uh, the pencil still works really good for me. I um, really like the color too. I'm just going to kind of fill in my brows in the shape that I want them to be. I'm just going to go back with the brush and just kind of use that to reestablish the shape. I already made and also to blend out the color so it looks natural. Next it's time to finally put some blush on my cheeks. Don't ask me why I like doing blush later, um, but I just do. I don't know why, I just do. So I'm going to take this e.l.f. complexion brush. The blush I'm using is called this Instant Cheekbones from CoverGirl and I've had this for so long. I don't know if they still sell this honestly. But, I mean, I like to use it, and I'm sure you can find colors very similar to this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take two taps of the pink, very specific, and then I'm going to take one tap of the orange. Now, what the pink does, it, it kind of also adds to the bronzy, kind of darker look that I want, and then the orange also kind of highlights, so in the end, it's just a nice, rosy, um, nice color to add some warmth to my cheeks. So I'm going to make a really awkward face right now. What I do is I just kind of smile like this, like, just so I can have the apples in my cheeks. I know I look like an idiot, trust me, I know. And I'm just going to kind of take that along the apples of my cheeks and kind of blend that back. And I'll also kind of go into the temples a little bit to um, just kind of even out the color so it's not all in one place. And I use a really circular motion with my brush. Sometimes I do this with the Kabuki too. The Kabuki also works really well with this, especially if you want it to blend well with your bronze color and you just use the Kabuki for the bronzer, so it's really convenient to use, but I just felt like going with this one for now. This is, adds a really nice um, warmth and glow to your face, and I really like these colors together too. Back to the eyes. I know we've all been waiting for it, and I hope this didn't melt because it was kind of like, Ooh, it's like melted chocolate. I'm still going to work with it. So, maybe I can do a little better on this eye. Nope. I'm gonna wait. Hey, yay, I'm back! Guess whose eyeliner I finally started to decide to behave again? Mine! Woo! Okay, so let's just move on. Anyways, 
as I was saying, I put this on the lower lash line, and hopefully now that it's kind of somewhat behaving, look how misshapen it is though. Wow. Wow, you know, you know, of course this would happen like right when I'm doing a tutorial. As it starts getting to the halfway point, I just kind of start to blend it out. So, second last step. Almost there. Hang in there. Um, I'm going to take this contour brush. It's just this very like round, um, stiff brush. Uh, from the Naked 3 palette, I'm going to take this milky white color and I'm going to put this in my inner corner. I really like this brush because it really gives you a lot of control, especially in this kind of tricky area like that. And I just kind of pack that on until I'm happy with it. I think it might even help to use a shimmery color for your inner corner because that's also going to attract more light, which is what you're trying to do. And since I'm just kind of sticking with matte colors, um, I'm just going to stick with this one from the Naked 3. Okay, now last step. I like to use a finishing lip color. If your lips look naturally pretty and this uh, eye makeup really complements your skin really well, I mean, you don't have to do this, but normally I do like having, just for me, I like having like a nude lip or something to kind of balance it out. Especially with a smoky eye look like this, I really just want something neutral on my lips. The lip color I'm going to be using is Revlon and this is Pink Lemonade. It's just like a pretty light pinky nude. That's the end of this tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big thumb and you can also tell me what you thought in the comments down below. Have a lovely summer, all my sweet peas. Love you guys. Bye!